Hi, Bernani. So, congrats for uh, rank one ISI. Uh, Thank you, sir. Rank two gate. Yes. And, uh, I'll also ask about IIT exam. Although you cleared it. Uh, yes. But you told me something happened in the exam. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It was in... So, uh, so let's start with IIT jam only. So, what happened that okay. day? Uh, so like I was prepared for IIT gym like to my best but on that day and when we were in the exam hall so we were given this calculator and we were supposed to do the sums with it so the questions were uh, fine more or less but I was just panicked at that time and my calculator was like kind of not working like I was pressing it once and like it was showing two zeros and then like it was like uh, repeating the things and it was what there were some problems there were problems with others computers too so like I panicked at that time and I should have then switched by doing the calculations by hand because they were very easy but I couldn't do that and uh, also the time issue was also a main thing and so and there even, was many negative marking with those numerical answer type questions like many negative even marks. Then what, were, what was your rank in IIT Jan this year? Sir, uh, I don't remember that correctly but I think it was around 30 or uh, 30 maybe. I guess yeah. yes, 29 yes. or 30 I mean it was yes, there exactly. okay so, but still you cleared the paper. Yes, but like it was a horrible, it was a horrible form. Like there were many negative markings. Okay. And uh, in gate you uh, top the, uh, I think rank two. Yes, yes. Gate was rank two. So, okay. Let's start with your preparation strategy. So how you prepare. Okay, yeah, please tell Sir, so, uh, for my preparation strategy, so the first thing was like uh, reading the topics very well and like revising them multiple times because without revision, I couldn't get through them uh, at a, at the first attempt. So I had to read them every time. And after I had uh, completed reading a particular topic or done study, then I would switch to the problems because there are these problems and then there is this quizzes. So once I do the quizzes, like at the first time when I started doing the problems, like I could hardly do three or four. But uh, once I was uh, get stuck with something, then I would understand that this part I have to revise better. And so I would do that. And then again, I will do those problems. So quiz after quiz. I've done this. Ha yes, ha jo quiz har ro har chapter ke baad de rete, har lecture ke baad. Yes, yes. So yes. usme acha you said that uh, you get stuck sometime. Yes. Sir. So please understand this. Even. Uh, person who has got rank one in ISI, they also can get stuck in quiz. It is nothing new and no problematic thing at all. It doesn't matter. You will yes. get better as you go on, as you move right. on. Right. Right. So, yes. so you used to write your quizzes also in the register? Yes, sir. You used to write your quizzes in the register? Yes, sir. Uh, for the quizzes, I kept a, a different register. Like for the questions, I had a different one. And for the notes, I had a different one. For the class notes, I had a different one. So like when I'm uh, solving or like uh, when I'm revising, so it's not always possible to do all the problems. So like I would take up some of them and practice them. And then I would realize that, okay, uh, this part I would have to revise again. Then I will go back to the class notes. And like this, I would like to prepare each week. And for each week I had to, uh, I used to pick up a topic from like micro, macro, maths. And like each week I would do that. And then I will check my performance with that. And I'll, then there were the mock I'll, tests. I'll go deeper into that particular thing, but I'll, I'll go slowly in the sense that uh, you started uh, uh, in June only with us or later on? You came in uh, June. Sir, I think I started a bit later on. I joined a bit later, but I think at the end of June or uh, yeah, something okay. like that. Okay. And uh, were you the, are you the one I mean, who came to all the live classes or you were doing it? No, sir. I, I didn't do the live classes at all. Like, uh, because uh, the time like clashed, uh, the travel from my college to home, like it took a lot of time. And so the times clashed. And so I used to watch those videos. Like I used to watch yesterday's videos or the day before the videos uh, offline. And then I would used to take down the notes. And like once I've done with them, then I used to do the quizzes. And like in the weekends, I used to revise and see where I'm stuck up with. So every, uh, so whenever the, co I mean, you used to do the lecture uh during night or so i mean may not yes be yes, yes still right. night. and for the first six days of the uh classes i mean you will be noting down the things but on the seventh day or let's say on sunday you will be revising everything 
is sometimes I used to do the quizzes just after the lecture also, but it is not always possible to do everything at once. Like it keeps. Uh, it keeps like right. okay, and uh, this is one. Um, there are two questions which I'm going to ask because uh, uh, this is uh, something which uh, I am being asked every time. And if I tell, then people are, oh, he's, he's saying this, he's a teacher or he's a parent or he's this or that. But somebody who has cleared the paper and who has, uh, who is a student, if they tell, then they can understand their peer is telling. Okay. How to make notes and how many hours to study? So like, it's very difficult to say like how many hours because like every day we cannot uh, study for the same number of hours. Like sometimes it's a holiday and you can study more and sometimes you don't even like to study that you don't feel like to sit down and study. So at that time, like pushing yourself for studying is not right. Like at that time, I used to take a break and do something different and then again come back. Usually I didn't fix the hours of study, but rather I like fix that I have to do this much uh, a particular day. So that way, like I set up my mind at that time that I will complete this no matter what. And every time, even though I completed, there were also some lacking still there. were, And so I used to again do that and like until and unless I can solve the problem by my own i used to keep on doing that like, Very good. i prepare that so let's let's talk about this point also again that is uh you might have seen few problems through solutions i mean the way we have yes. given it but you again used to do them till the yes. point you are able to solve mm -hmm. the question right, right? Yes. you know by this i think i remember one thing i think before the isi interview i gave you one question i think you were the first one who gave me it back and uh, you were the last one whom I interviewed. And uh, the point was, I mean, when I saw it, I think I told you that day also what to ask because uh, there was no mistake at all throughout. So uh, I was very happy. So, but you know what? I mean, you, nobody can predict that somebody is going to top the exam. That yes, is not... right. right yes. I was uh, sure that you rank good, but nobody can say uh, rank one hai ya rank two hai ye koi bata sakta. Achha, so how do you make notes like uh, sir making notes first of all I uh, look at the class videos so I take them down and then there are the references like from the books that uh, they are referred to so I then read the book and once I've read the book I also do some problems kind of uh, some of the books also have some certain type of problems so I go through them that so I have a copy separate copy for that then once I'm done with that I again prepare a separate copy where I just okay. uh, write down the definition and the like some sort of problems or like some additional notes like I need to go back to there and I need to check this like okay, this I, type I, of point so I'll ask I'll ask a related question so how many different kinds of copies you had one for our notes yes one and quizzes. one for this my notes yes this is this was this this is what I understood because if I were you I would have made just one register I have to make notes banane ke liye bhi mera ek hi register hai. Wo micro macro pura hota. I just need to complete a one in one month or one and a half months one register. Wo hona mera complete. So tumhara kya hai? Matlab, uh, class ke liye alag, quiz ke liye alag, hmm. extra books ke liye alag. Yes, like for my notes, like I used to like even for Monopoly, I used to have like a separate copy, like for perfect combination, a separate oh, wow. copy. Like, yes, a copy is like that, where I used to like write them down for probably sequence series, for that a separate copy, optimization a separate one, for the probability distributions a separate one, like this. That is also a very good thing. So it's a very methodical, a pura proper strategy. Hai ke aise, aise, so, so whenever, I just say, I have a notes mein problem in my notes. I don't know that I have written this register, mein likhi hai, but I have to flip through karna padta hai notes. Hai, but... Uh, I can't make those, those many registers. I have to take one register every day. That's a very good thing, I mean, even though. Achha, which books you followed? Uh, books for uh, microeconomics. Uh, Variant was a very good book. And Variant Workouts was also a very good book. Like, I, I had to practice that. And it was wonderful. And I did it, I think, twice or probably four times also, the problems. And not all of them. Like, some of them I did repeatedly. And Nicholson Snyder was a, also a good book that one for micro i mostly follow this too and uh, there is another book called gravel and risk some i have i have one question uh, for variant workbook um, sometimes i mean i used to tell my students if you are doing that book 
don't focus on too lengthy problems yes. i mean the problems which are running for two two pages you might just leave them right or if they are asking bahut jyada koi graph wagera but you can solve zero one level problems and even two level problems but my only concern was wo jo do do teen teen page ki problem chal rahi hai na you can actually skip them so like that? they explain a lot the problems is ah. like every step they ask to like take some values do this then again take a different value again do the same sum like that no yeah. i used to just read the problem and like those parts that i thought it was important i did with okay so, uh, yeah you were telling about other books hmm. Uh, yes, and there was another book called Gravel and Risk. I didn't do all of them, just some parts, like a uh, certain parts for like asymmetric information, certain parts of like second degree price discrimination for monopoly, some parts from consumers' behavior, the theorems mostly. Those were explained. Uh, lexicographic preferences, all those parts from there. And for macroeconomics, Blanchard is a very good book for Phillips curve and everything for the open economy. Also that. is also very nice and freud is also a good book. open economy mein mujhe lagta hai ki don bush zyada achhi i mean don bush is far better yes, than sir. don bush also i followed for open economy like Chapter the exchange rate determination on this is uh-huh. yeah you better so and yeah. freud is also a nice book the islm or uh, the bp part like uh, the mundel fleming model all those courses freud na jaise main generally unko recommend karta hu jo upsc ka economics optional कर रहे होते हैं उसके थोड़े ज्यादा वो हैं हमारे लिए मुझे लगता है कि ब्लैंकट या डॉन बुश मोर और लेस सफिशिएंट हैं जिस तरह के क्वेश्चंस हमारे आए हुए हैं हमारे पेपर्स में विच एवर पेपर आई पिकअप सो फ्रॉइन जनरली आई यूज टू बिकॉज वो कई जगह बहुत थियोरिटिकल भी हो जाता है सो और ब्लैंकट इज इट कम्स टू द पॉइंट बहुत जल्दी से राइट बट वट वट आई डोंट आई डोंट लाइक अबाउट ब्लैंकट इज ओपन इकोनॉमी पार्ट ओपन इकोनॉमी मुझे अभी भी डॉन बुश का ही अच्छा लगता है सो आई डोंट लाइक मच ब्लैंकट में कुछ चीजें जो ओपन इकोनॉमी ब्लैंकट डॉन बुश ज्यादा अच्छा है बट दैट्स वेरी सब्जेक्टिव यू नो बडी कैन से क्या अच्छा है क्या नहीं But like huh. for every book, I didn't used to do like every topic from every book. Like once you read it, you can understand that which part is better written or like which part I can understand better. So like I just used to do that and leave the rest of it because uh, once I go to the problems and I get stuck and then only I'm going to go back. Like or else so this, is, this is after doing notes or before doing notes? After doing notes. Uh, I first started with notes. Yes, okay. I always start. and uh, the other question which i have to ask is how have you revised things and from uh, when so, have you started okay sir uh, i started revision uh, the beginning of this year from january only so uh, from then on but all the topics were not covered like statistics some portions were still left so like while doing this news topics i usually started with revision like uh, and also when i was uh, taking the notes also at that time like uh, there used to be some holidays during those time i didn't have the classes so back then like i used to go back for the previous topics like uh, probably i'm studying a new topic but also i'm revising some of the previous topics so like that helps me to remember the things because when i'm uh, going back all together like after everything has been done then i like completely have forgotten some of the topics already so that i just try to avoid this this i tell to my students also that uh, to you guys also have told you ki bilkul pura course khatam hone ka wait mat karo bhaiya har hafte revise karo fir har do hafte revise karo har mesha revise karte raho because course itna huge ho jata hai last mein ki wo sara ek sath revise karna ka tumne pehle se revision nahi start kari it is going to be difficult so it is like you have to revise it at the at proper intervals uh, every time so Okay. Uh, what is the importance of doing past years, and how many cycles of past years you did? So it is very important to do the past years because, like, ah, uh, for every university, like IIT Jam asks different type of questions. ISI asks different type of questions. Like, until and unless you do the past years, you could never know what kind of questions to do. So it's very important to do that. And for ISI, I think I did three cycles of past papers. And for the IIT Jam, there were not many past papers. Like there were only some. So for that, ah, uh, the DSC past paper, I did ah uh, probably almost two cycles. I couldn't do all of their sums. Never I could do that. But at I did at as much as I could do. And like every day, I tried to ah uh, at the last ah uh, for the last few days, I did 
two past papers like every day or two PEA paper or like one PB paper every day or like uh, during the noon one paper and during the evening one paper like that ha helps but during the initial uh, or the initial months I didn't do every day I just uh, did some one week probably I took two papers on so the next week I took another two so that way I went. So how you manage time for tests and all which uh, were given? For the uh, test, I first uh, wanted to be sure that I have revised the paper that I am going to give for the test. And the test I did only during the uh, last few months. Like for the beginning, I only gave those those math revision tests, all those type of tests. I did that. And uh, during those last years, like I used to keep a particular time in the day. So in the afternoon, I used to take two hours of my time and give ISI PEA test. And I did that for like, I did that every day probably. Uh, used to give a test more or less. And then once I would be done, then again, there would be some other test coming in. So I would also be doing them. Uh, and uh, that is how I prepared for. CUET rather, I think I didn't give the test regularly. I gave them at uh, different intervals. Like when I was giving, probably I gave two together, like two each day. And then there was again an interval and then probably again three each day. Like, so how, many, how many CUET type tests did you get? Like, uh, sir, I think, I don't remember exactly, but I think I left two or three. I couldn't complete all those tests. So out of 38, 39, you give? Yes, you give probably. 35. Oh, good. Good, good. And uh, you also did IT jam type test and everything. Yes, yes, yes. All of them. Sir, I think I missed jam test. Uh, last one, I think I missed. Also for ISI also, I didn't complete all the tests. I think there were a uh, last two tests that I missed during that time. But before the interview, I was actually going through all those questions because I should be, uh, I should have completed them by that time. What, uh, uh, what was your, uh, uh, so you were doing it uh, during your third year on. So how did you manage both of them? So this is also one of the questions which has been asked. Right. So for a uh, college, they used to teach the different parts and I tried to uh, learn most of the topics in college only. Like when they are teaching, like be in the classes because attending classes is very important. For semester. And so, yes. For yes, semester. Sir. Yes, it's for the semester. So I used to take the classes and come back home and then revise through them. And once I'm done revision, I used to close them and then switch on for my competitive exam. Then again, going to the college, before going to the college, I would again take out those uh, notes and those class notes. And then once again, be ready for that. So I'm ready for the next class. And this is the way I prepared. Also, there were IAs, many IAs. So like for those also, uh, some of the preparation, it helped in some of the preparation. Very good. And uh, so uh, I think I've answered, uh, maybe questioned uh, everything. Uh, this is one last question which I want to ask. So what uh, suggestion you want to give to the future aspirants? Sir, uh, the suggestion, like, I would just tell them to learn the concepts very well, like, to the concepts like not to and if if i'm getting stuck somewhere then probably i will leave it now but then again come back to it and uh, stay there until and unless i clear my entire concept and then practicing problems it's very important and like as many practice as many problems as you can and different types of problems and it is also important to understand like how to approach one because during the isi test like i could not complete all the problems in pb like i started some of them and i left them so I the approach test. is uh, yes, I type test me. Yes, it's yes, for the I oh. type test. Like it's better to practice and to revise. Like as many revisions as you can do, it's very good. And also doing the past papers are also very important because the first time I tried attempting an ISI past paper, I could not solve any. Like I could hardly solve any. And but when I was doing the third cycle, so I probably almost remembered the questions by that time. Like I know how to approach it, and like I'm very uh, comfortable with the questions. So getting this, uh, getting to that point is like important for me. Like knowing the topics and understanding that this question is from this topic only and I have to approach it this way. Only then I can reach the solution. So that was, that will probably be my situation. So what is the next step? I mean, after uh, ISI, you want to do PhD or you want to get into uh, corporate or what? Have you thought about it? 
Sir, I haven't decided that completely yet, but I wish that I can get into PhD. So very good. So you're a very good candidate, I hope, for, for PhD. So very good. And uh, congrats once again. All the best. Do very well in life. So thank you, Veda. Thank you, sir.